What I want to do is I want to cut to the beat of the song using my string out. So one way to do it is to do it the slow way, boring, slow, by listening to it and then dragging each clip, you know, in. The other way to do it is to place markers. And when you place markers, you can snap footage to those markers. All you have to do to place markers is press the M button on your keyboard, M for marker. So just pretend like you can hear the music. I know you can't, so I'll sing it for you. But I'm a very bad singer, but as it's playing, I'm gonna press the M button. This will help me snap later. So I'll go through it and all it takes is one. Let me give you motivation to yes, and do it all right. You got that good, good. I mean, am I not the best singer in the whole world? I swear. And you can always create new shortcuts by going to edit preference, edit keyboard shortcuts. And then here you can even type in what that shortcut is. So set to frame size. You can see there's actually a couple of shortcuts that I created for set to frame size. So you can create your own shortcuts. So here I have my string out. It's in a different tab. And then here I have my song. It's in a different tab. So instead of going like, okay, I want to use this clip. So I'm going to command copy it, then go here, command paste it there. That's, that's a lot of work. So instead I'm going to pancake these timelines. I'm going to bring the audio timeline underneath the string out timeline. This is called pancake editing. So there it is. So now I can literally drop the clips in. You can see that there are a lot of creative looks that are available for you to try on. And if you want to just select one, you can, and it'll apply it directly to your footage. Or something else you can do is you can just audition them right here by pressing the forward and back arrows. And that will, in this little window that will kind of audition the creative looks so you can see if you like any of them. Like I really like this one, for example. So once I find something I like, I can just click on it and it will apply to my clip. I really like this. And if you feel like there's always that difference, like if you have to export an MP4 and you feel like it's always a little bit redder, just know that whoever your viewer is, number one, probably won't care. And number two, they're probably gonna be watching it on a completely different screen. So instead of testing your final video on your computer screen, test it on your phone. Not only the video, but the audio as well. Because what happens is when you're playing a video through your phone and speakers, the if you have an underlying music track, that music track always gets quieter when you're playing through speakers. So you almost always have to bump it up more. What's awesome about the Adobe Essential Graphics, if you go into Adobe Stock and you just press free, there's so many awesome, there's so many awesome free templates that are available in the Adobe Stock store. So let's take a look. There's so, 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 and, and I did free, right? If I didn't do free along with all the premium ones, you can see what the premium ones look like. Some of them have, you know, multiple different templates within one template. So like this gradient title, you can have multiple. Um, some of them just have one, some of them, all of them are pretty much customizable with fonts and colors, durations, all of that good stuff. And there's a lot. So if I select free, now these are just the free ones, but you can see even the free ones are really fun. And if you want to be more specific about it, you can type something in like lower thirds and it'll show you just the lower thirds. Like right now it's showing me just the free lower thirds. And I want to be clear, this is not the templates that, this is not your regular templates that come with a software, right? Like if you download like a simple editing software and it just comes with a few templates, these are from users who submit them into the Adobe Stock Store. So they're always growing, they're always changing. In fact, if you type in Valentina V, my name, you'll be able to see the templates that I've made that are available for free in the Adobe Stock Store. So that's really cool. Say you want a different portion of this clip 
but you don't want to put the clip up on a second layer, expand it, find where that usable portion is again, like, oh, okay, maybe there, then bring it back, then trim it, then pop it back in. That's really annoying to do. So instead you can just use the slip tool. So you can select it and then press Y on your keyboard. And as you can see, it turns your mouse into this selection here. So instead of V, which is your regular pointer, pressing Y turns it into the slip tool. So now you can, as you click and drag, you can slip along the clip on the inside and you can choose where the beginning frame of the clip is, where the end of frame of the clip is. So you can choose a better section of the clip if you want. Let's move on to the very um, last thing that I wanted to show you, which was graphics and how you can use them. And I just wanted to let you know that specifically for the people who are here in the session with me, we have special graphics that we've created. So if you go to adobe.ly slash free templates, you can get professional free motion graphics templates that are created specifically for the people watching me today. And they look like this. So this is that website. So you'll get a, you'll get a lower third, you'll get an intro, you'll get an outro, and you'll get a transition for free. And you can download them and put them in your library. 